welcome to Shamrock Rovers Fan TV. Now today I have a disappointing match reaction to Shamrock Rovers nil, St. Patrick's Athletic nil at Richmond Park. Very disappointing results. Nil nil draw at Richmond Park. Dundalk got a one one draw, um, which is good for us that they didn't get the three points at Richmond. It, w it would have been very bad if they um, won there and we lost or we drew. Um, but since we got a point as well as they did. It doesn't make it the end of the world. We do get a point and we remain top of the league. But Bows are right in our tail at the moment. They beat Pats and we lose our game against Shells. Then they're only behind us by one point. So uh, we have to step up against Shells and we need a big performance. I think we were clear favourites going into the game. We're the team to beat going into the game. For every single game, teams will sit back against us, which makes it harder for us. We clearly played better than them. We had way more possession. We definitely were the favourites going into the game. There's no doubt. And they were the clear underdogs. And they got a great result against us. Which is brilliant for them because they're going for top four. And it's going to be very hard, I think, for them to get top four. With Dundalk playing so poor, they could drop into third. And then it could open up a little gap for Derry to slide in. So I don't think Pats will get top four. That's what they're going for. And how they have been playing um, recently, they I think they might are in a chance to get it. Um, they defended, it wasn't that they defended incredibly, but they defended well once they got the red card. Like They were down to 10 men for the rest of the second half. Um, our Most of our play came down the left with Neil Ferrugia, who didn't, he had a good game. It wasn't the, the best game ever, um, but we went down the left-hand side so many times that he's never going to get every single thing right. We went down the right-hand side only about one time, um, down to Ronan Finn and he put in a great ball in and we nearly scored so I, I think we need to use Finner more on the right because he yes he's getting older he's in his 30s now but he still has great um cross on him and he's very fast still so I think we need to use him a bit more um, I can see Marshall coming in at his position for the next game and him maybe going into the middle because I think he'd play a lot better or even a bit more ahead than right wing back because we're not using them. We used Ferruja a bit too much, I think, and it tired him out. His touch wasn't great near the end of the game as he was tired. Um, it kind of bounced off when the ball came in. But Graham Burke played very well. Um, he'd be up there as man of the match. I just think it was a disappointing result. Now, we're going to go onto the team that Stephen Bradley put out, and I'm going to put my opinion. This video, I'm just going to go the starting eleven. I'm not going to talk about the substitutes um, because I kind of do at the start of the video just when I'm generally putting my opinion on the game. So in goal, Alamanis, he didn't have much to do. He hardly touched the ball. Um, his composure was very good when the ball came back to him. There was um, a loose pass from Grace back to him and he did it very well, um, controlled it very well and kicked it out. So I think he had a good game, just didn't have much to do. Now, I already talked about our left wing back, Neil Ferruja, who didn't have an incredible game, but he didn't have a bad game either. Um, I think 60% of the time he did very well on that left wing, um, but he either tried to kick the ball over the player or just chip it past him and try to run. So it was very predictable um, for the Pats defenders, but he was very good. He is very good at what he does, uh, Ferruja. I don't know if this is his confidence um, that he needs a boost of, reason why he's not playing as well as he could but he is playing very well and Ferruja is going to go on to big things because he's a great player and I also talked about Ronan Finn at right wing back he didn't have the best of games but he didn't touch the ball even much when it, ha when it did go down the right hand side maybe once or twice he did very well there and we nearly scored so I think he had a good game when he did get the ball but he didn't get it much now, Joey O'Brien, our first centre-back, I think he had a good game. Uh, he didn't play bad, didn't play incredible. He's a good player, um, and he, he did well yesterday. Um, so, I, I'd say he had a good game, but I don't know if he's going to get in the game against Shells. We'll have to see. Now, beside him, Lee Grace didn't have an incredible game. Um, I think he'd be disappointed with his performance. It wasn't terrible, but... It was an average performance, um, but I don't think he's going to have another bad performance the whole year. I think that could be his one bad performance out the window, and I think he could play very well the rest of the season because he's a smashing player. 
Now, moving on to Roberto Lopez, he had a very good game. I think he played very well. Our defence was overall good in the game. Uh, his composure is brilliant. There was a chance where he just scooped the ball past two St. Pat's um, attackers, and his composure was brilliant. Um, I don't know how they didn't tackle him because he's a centre-back, and uh, he, his dribbling was very good past them. Now, on the right midfielder, Jack Byrne had a very good game. I think he played very well and he'd be one of the man of the match contenders. Super player and he had a good game. It was one of them games where there wasn't a massive standout player. Um, Maybe one or two players had a great game. But it was an overall good performance from the team. It's just it was a very disappointing result because Pats sat back and they just defended and we gave the ball, I think... What we were doing in the first half is just trying to get the ball to Jack Byrne and he'd do something. Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't break down the defence. Now, in the left midfield, Graham Burke, who I think had a very good game, be another man of the match contender, probably one of the only man of the match contenders. He had a very, very, very good game. So, fair play to him. Um, I didn't think he would play the full 90 minutes as he's only coming back from injury, but... Fair play to him, he did play um, the whole game. So, fair play to him, he did very well. And I think he'll start against Shells. Now, the first midfielder, Gary O'Neill, didn't have a bad game, didn't have a good game. It was kind of, it was an okay performance. Could have done a lot better and could have done a lot worse. So, I think if I was writing him out of 10, it would probably be a 6, maybe. Um, because you, you do expect a lot more than that from him. Now, next in the midfield, and our last midfielder, is Aaron McInef, who didn't have a great game. Most like other players, he had an okay game. He was kind of a bit more defensive than I thought he was going to play. He kind of just sat back and shielded the back four, um, or the back five, and um, he kind of just picked the ball up at halfway line and tried to make things happen, and he couldn't really make a lot happen, but he set up a good few chances that we couldn't take, but... If we take if we took them chances, he'd probably get a lot more um, a lot more praise maybe in the media. But since they didn't, and it wasn't his fault they uh, we didn't score. In my opinion, he didn't get the praise he deserved. And now up front, Aaron Green, who I think had a good game. People might say he didn't have a great game. There was a very big chance that he missed at the start of the game, where he probably should have put it in. Um, he was drifting out onto the left a bit too much as I have said in recent videos, but I think his pressing was really good, and I think people need to see that, because um, his pressing was really good, and he, maybe play him out on the left midfielder, because he does well there, it's just when he goes out onto the left, we don't have a, a, an attacker up front. Now, my man of the match would be Jack Byrne, I think the second man of the match would probably be Graham Burke, they didn't really give him man of the match for Watch LOI, but I think they give it to... Jack Byrne, he had a good game, he could have done a lot better, um, and his standards, he probably should have done a bit, bit better, but it was very hard to break down the Pats defence, because they defended very well near the end of the game, um, and they got quite lucky with that red card, they were actually lucky because it made them realise they need to defend, because we were looking like we were going to score around when they got the red card, for the red card, I think, I don't know if it was a red card, um, it was definitely a second yellow, definitely yellow for both of them. So I suppose it was a red card, um, but I think Jack Byrne couldn't make much happen. Uh, we he got the ball quite a bit, and he did play some very good passes. Just didn't do loads with them passes. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.